entertained for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is the former UFC welterweight champion of the world and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Ruthless Robbie Lawler. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, and Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate. Dion! Ready to fight? Ready. So ruthless Robbie Lawler getting going tonight. 20 career wins by knockout. Hand speed and power for days. And nice takedown defense as well. That figures to be tested tonight. Man, how good is that jab from Nate Diaz? Almost as if he's been doing it for 20 years, right? I mean, he has been doing it. You know, he's got a great boxing coach in Richard Perez, a guy that he believes in, a guy that has allowed him to gain the confidence to stand with the best strikers in the world. High kick landed for him there. Ball into the body. Good as that jab by Lawler. All right, early in the fight here, and Nate Diaz off to a pretty good start. Found a home for that left hand. I mean, and it's powerful. It does not seem like Nate is throwing it hard, but he always finds his target. He's very accurate with that straight left hand, so he kind of feeds the right hand to get you moving where he wants, and then bang, he dropped that straight left on you that hurt so many. Hurt Conor McGregor, and he hurt the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards, in the same way. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Nice defense there. Huge block. Nice punch to the head. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Back to the jab now, no good. Ooh. Might get the TKO here. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of now he's looking on triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish the technique. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Let's go. Push, push, push. Get free. Just over two minutes now to go. I close guard now. Rubber guard form now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall tactic. What do you think the offensive fighter is trying to do? He needs to regain his posture, right? He needs to shove that foot down around his neck, shove it down, build your base, get that arm free, and then get back to work trying to advance position to your ground and pound. Right. If you play in there, you can find yourself in a lot of danger if you're not careful. This is a terrible position. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Diaz. All right, setting up for a finish here. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, i got to stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. 
All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the this field. This is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. And that's exactly what they got in that exchange. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, and he connects there. Lawler's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Diaz. Oh, another huge knee. He is on point tonight. 15 seconds. for the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. And just like that, here we go with round Ready two. Fight. Nate Diaz. Ready. And the one, the only, ruthless Robbie Law. All right, so there's that Nate Diaz left hand. You talked about the sneaky power. That one was pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's throwing it hard. But he's so accurate that when he lands, he can hurt you. Nate Diaz has a really good left hand, and it's all rooted in how he hides it behind that slap right hook. Just missed with the straight left hand. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, huge hook. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, it's been a oh! big combination. Able to land there with the straight left. Nice crack there. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. And there's a takedown attempt. Well, that eye area is getting... There it is again. Look at that. Diaz gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut. If oh! Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. got to move his head, John. But the problem is... Now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of us. He has got a... He's hurt. He's hurt. We might get a stoppage here. Gets back to his feet. All right, set up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. What a tight arm bar. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. It's getting really hard to watch him absorb shots on that eye. I wonder if the referee's thinking about calling in the doctor now. Well, well John, the entirety of the fight. Wow. He goes down again. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. 
Right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington. Diaz is trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, oh, that's in, that's in. Oh, there's the chance! Oh, my goodness! Takes the judges out of it, gets the finish. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that, and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 35 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, Nate Diaz! All right, so one of the biggest superstars on this roster, top to bottom, Nathan Diaz getting his hand raised tonight and still showing you, DC, several years into this thing, he can still compete and beat the best guys in the world. People used to talk about Nick and Nate.